Looks good. Looks good. So hello together. This is Chris from Stormbringer Magazine. I'm here in the Red Bull car together with the guys of Times of Grace with Adam. Hello. And Chesa. What's going on? So you play a really amazing show today. We're looking there at the crowd. So you enjoy it to play? Yeah, yeah, except for all the dirt. I feel like it's all in my throat now. I'm like, ah. Is it not except from the drinking? Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this drinking extensions? Uh, no comment on that one. I mean, I, I indulge as well. Definitely, I, we, we enjoy. But uh, there are times when this guy's a little out of hand, for sure. And I, and I have to yell at him and tell him to calm down. Yeah, last night. Last night. Last night. What did you do last night? We were screaming on the bus, and he's in bed. And he's like, you acting like children. Quiet. <laughs> and then he comes up like, bah. Yeah. What? Pretty yeah. much, but. I don't even have to come out. They just know when I talk. Voice of reason. Yeah, like, so <laughs> there's, a, there's a time and a place. You <laughs> acting like children. I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> I was just quoting hardcore songs. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, re you released this year a really great album, The Hymns of a Broken Man. I think you're very satisfied with it. You get very great reactions from the press, from the yeah, fans. Yeah. It's it's cool that you record the album in the hospital with. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, just, how you do that? Uh, everything's in here. I just keep thinking and thinking and thinking so much, just because I'm I'm just so depressed and you know, just so sad about you know like I was stuck in a bed, you know, just like thinking all day. Just mine wouldn't stop. Like a monkey running around. Yeah, exactly. Them. Like a gerbil in a wheel. <laughs> yeah. So, what is this? Uh, when we talk about the recordings, as I said, I read in an interview, you record all that stuff on a, on a, on a like, mm -hmm, with yeah. all the sounds of a guy who played it for you in the studio. Um, what was the idea behind Times of Grace? Do you born this in the hospital, or is there, was that before that you said, okay, you want to do another project? Beneath yeah. Coast, which engage? Oh, no, 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 no. It was more so just something to um, to keep my head in a in a happy place, kind of stay positive, and uh, you know, kind of just in, in a really bad time. And um, when I made it, I just kind of knew I I didn't. It was different than Kill Switch. You know, it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be a Kill Switch record. Um, so, and I actually wanted to sing a lot of it as well. Um, but then I realized I'm not a very good singer, so that's why I, call, I called Jesse to come out. Is this because of the drinking? Or? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, I mean, someone's got a reputation. I, I, I mean, I have to bring that because every time I see Killswitch Engage, for example, live, it's very interesting. Your guitar gets often broken, and you often drink very fast a half liter of beer. So, yeah. do you want to tell us something? I love no no I love beer that's it that's it really? that's it that's it no but, but we're in Austria is it Austrian or German beer no German beer I'm sorry why I'm sorry because why? it's better no oh. ba Bavarian beer Bavarian beer Bavarian is not Germany huh Bavarian is not Germany for the Bavarians no no well it's southern Germany yeah but the Bavarians have said now we are no the Weiss beer right it's my favorite it's my favorite I love Weiss beer we're talking all the time about beer, so it seems to me that Times of Christmas oh, no, no. beer... Uh, we, can, we can talk about meat as well. There's <laughs> nothing, there's nothing. What, what is your opinion about meat? It's tasty, uh, if done right, and if uh, raised properly. Yes. And beer? Love beer, but I'm very snobby. I like the Weiss beer, I like the stouts, but uh, I don't like light beer. I don't like any of that light stuff at all. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I like this, this beer from Vienna, it's, it's yeah. the Otto Rock, yeah? The Atsura could be. Uh, not, not, it's alright. It's alright. So let's come back to the record. Um, <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> we can talk more about meat and beer if you want to. We can talk about more meat and beer and Times of Grace. So they can expect that the next Times of Grace emblem is about meat and beer? Yes. The, the, the hymns of the cow or? <laughs> <laughs> hymns, hymns of the freaking slaughtered cow. Yeah. Barley and steak is the name of the new record. It's a hymns of a drunken man. Yeah. Hymns of a drunken cow, man. Yeah, uh, yeah perfect. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, the story behind the album. I mean, you have both not the best times when you started recording this. It was for you in the hospital. I read that you have also some shitty times uh, behind you. Definitely. Yeah, so, absolutely. so this also you can read in the lyrics. It's like they're very, in the way of negative, but they ha it has a positive end in a way when you when you laugh, fight for life. And what you can tell us about this? I think it's just you know, 
when you go through struggles and everybody goes through dark times and struggles it's the coping mechanism it's like you can either like become completely depressed and sort of give up or be suicidal or you can you know rise yourself up or 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 you seek faith in god or like be positive about it and and that has a huge impact on how you're feeling and getting you through those hard times and that's kind of what this record's all about is that struggle and that suffering acknowledging it going through that process but also coming out of it to find back to the sun it, yeah there it is man that's yeah well done what do you think about it yeah well you have a choice that's basically it you have a choice um every, everyone has different hardships you know it's the, the funny thing um about you know i i feel like that's part of the record as well like people you have to acknowledge like it's not just you know one person like every single person out there we're looking at right now everyone goes through problems everyone goes through them and it's everyone how, goes through it yeah and it's how that person can pull themselves out of it it's just you have to be a positive mental person and kind of pull yourself from all the negative things in your life you so know to take the problems on the root and pull it out yeah. it's, it's about that uh, the hymns of the broken man yeah well that's the thing and everyone everyone has the power to do that it's just up to themselves you know they really so have to, that when, choice when, when we talk about this when you when you're looking at the society for example american society european society the western lifestyle i mean it's not that far away from each other no not at all did you for your except did you think that this society struggles you into these problems with all this uh, crap what's going on there on tv and the world and the politics did you think that that the, the young people getting that in the struggle because well I, i hope young people get it because they, they have to keep you know keep your eyes open keep your ears out you have to listen you see what's happening around you you know learn to live yeah that's pretty much it yeah absolutely yeah it's a uh, it's an important thing i think uh you look beyond yourself sometimes as well you know, like understand that people need help you know people who are going through other problems that maybe you've been through before you know if you can give advice or be there for somebody that's even better you know what do you think about it uh, i think we live in a really screwed up messed up world and there are a lot of lost people but uh you know just like music has helped me and, and my faith in god has helped me in the past that's what i'm trying to give back you know i'm trying to give back through my music Uh, and through my lyrics to let people know that there is hope there's always a light at the end of the tunnel so you want to you want to give the spirit from your heart to the people when you go on stage yeah. and and, and give well it said. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah right when, when we talk about the spirit and the things or you want to give back to the people like giving them hope when you when we talk about really famous artists like i think one of this one of the biggest mr Johnny cash what do you think about him oh, with his cash oh timeless yeah. timeless yeah He's a huge influence on me. I think Johnny Cash is uh, the godfather of um, soul punk. Like a lot of uh, people who are come from hardcore and punk discover Johnny Cash at some point in the line because he's sort of like the godfather of that. You know, the man who struggled so much, but yet, yet was still able to let people relate to his lyrics. And uh, I think he's amazing. And Adam said, "Timeless." I think "timeless" is the best word for him, man. Yeah. It truly is. It truly is. So what do you think that about? Let me say. Another guy, another for me, another very, very great songwriter, also in the lyrics, Mr. Mike Ness, Social yeah. D. Yeah, yeah man. That's I think, I think the play tomorrow, but I think when a guy wrote songs and he means something with it, I think he is it. Yeah, yeah, I, I love Social D, yeah, and I, I think Mike Ness, uh, yeah, it's just passion, you know, it's cool to see, it's cool to see. Agreed. Love Social D, man. Uh, to add to the list, I'd say The Clash is one of my favorites, too, that inspired me to think politically, too. Uh, uh, bad Brains, early Bad Brains stuff. So the, the, really, the really old hardcore yeah. punk stuff, like uh, even, uh, Black Flag. And Black stuff. Flag, yeah, but even like reggae music. Bob Marley is one of my all-time favorites. Really, really? Um, you know, he talked about love, he talked about politics, he talked about God, he talked about all that stuff. He's one of my main influences as well. So you have all his victims out there where he wants to give something in every part. Yeah, it's great. Diversity is good in music, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is that is that also the influence in, in times of grace? All these great musicians out there, all with we the great music. To everything. Yeah, we everything. To everything. We like in the cave too, or or, or, or cave? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, huh? Yeah, it's great. Love him. He's awesome. Yeah. No, every we listen to everything. It's it's uh, 
you know, all music, you know, it's all different genres. Is are, they're all good? You know, there's good things, good things about every genre of music. There are. So. Is this also going to influence and kill switch engage when we of can course. step on the side? Of course, yeah, absolutely. Well, for me personally, whenever I write music, you know, I, I try to take uh, things I love uh, from all all the styles that I like. You know, it's pretty much everything. You know, that's, uh, that's great. And what about you when you write your lyrics? I mean, I think I think you you write together the lyrics of the album, or you write it alone? How it's, was it going? We know we both did it. Uh, We did them together. Yeah. And when I would come with some lyrics to the studio and he would help me finish them or help me correct things or make it, it sound better lyrically and vice versa. He'd come and say, I have a chorus. Can you guys, can you write the verses? So I'd write the verses and we'd very much a collaboration. But, yeah. you know, the two of us would come into the studio and meet with just this energy. I think, I think that's what was the, such an amazing thing for me with this record. I just felt like uh, it was just two guys like completely just working together like you know, all, the whole way through and it was just great to have like you know a best friend he's literally one of my best friends just like talking about writing some songs that mean something to us you know it was, so, so what, what, what was then when, when you said Chess is one of your best friends what was then 10 years 11 years back the the, the reason for the departure of you from, from Killswitch? Uh, it's a long story he was in a completely yeah, different place. yeah I was a different person I just I was a kid man I didn't know much about life I was really gullible I wasn't ready to tour I didn't know who I was as a vocalist I just wasn't ready for it man I mean it's a long story but that's the short of it just not I think ready. the short is enough of it because yeah. I think get you ready when you see the performance it was fucking great thanks man appreciate that yeah I've come a long way for sure life's been interesting the past 10 years that's good to hear so hopefully it will be take a good way oh. yeah so far so good man I'm loving what I'm doing right now Perfect, that seems to me. What do you think about it? I think you're working, working, working in your studio, drinking beer, working, eating yeah, meat, drinking yeah, beer. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> so, so, did you also drink beer when you're recording? No, actually, no. It's the uh, end of the day. You know, I, when I work, I'm very, very different guy. Very serious, very to the point, get it done, make Pursuit, sure. Pursuit? Uh, make, sure make sure it comes out good. No, well, well kind of. Maybe a colored shirt. Like, Like no 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 yeah 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 and and then about eight o'clock we're like hey quitting time everybody go home and we'll or let's go out to dinner and then so which band at the moment records with which band at the moment you we work you work in your studio I just finished the new the Devil Wears Prada record what we can tell us about that ah well be kick ass. It. I hope so. Yeah, I hope people like it. Yeah. yeah. I think it came out. Came out great. Uh, you're also making a new honor of Friday. Well, that was in January. But yeah. you, you, you recorded. Yeah. Yep. I finished that in January, and then I did Devil Wears Prada in uh, was it April? Yeah. So. What is the next one coming up? Just some, some secret you tell us. Uh, it rhymes with thrill switch engage. Oh, a new thrill switch engage. <laughs> This is what the world are waiting for. <laughs> really. Yeah, well, we're yeah, we're gonna put a record together and uh, probably record it later on this year. Perfect, you know. A new Kill Switch Engage is coming up. So, what about Times of Grace? Is there a future for this project? I mean, you get a huge response from the people, from the fans. I mean, one buddy, uh, one guy in a German magazine wrote, "This is the, this is the journey through the, through the uh, pain." One guy is heard to a good end. So, that you get so much positive reactions. Did you expect that and will you carry on with this band? Is uh, it a project? Is it a band? What is it for you? I, I never expect anything, you know, it's uh, any um, any positive reactions I, I take as just, you know, just an, an amazing compliment, you know, because, you know, we never expect anything. We just, we kind of made this record just for ourselves, to be honest. Um, and just the, the fact that we can be here playing these songs for these people is just great. You know, we know we don't take that for granted, you know, it's, uh, we love doing this and uh, I think You know, I, I can't speak for Jesse, but I know I want to continue making music with Jesse. I just absolutely, Jesse. yeah. I mean, uh, I feel so blessed right now in my life, and uh, I t you know I try to take it one day at a time. And I, as Adam says, expectations are dangerous. I have hope for things, and tomorrow is not promised. But um, man, I'd, of course, I'd love to make another record. I'd love to make another five records. Uh, as long as I keep doing this, I feel blessed and I feel very uh, honored to be able to continue doing this. Is there also a chance for any tour or will be uh, get all of the festival shows? Well, no, we're doing uh, we're doing some touring in the US and then uh, after that, yeah, we'll maybe we'll do something Australia. else. We, yeah, we go to Australia and then see what happens. That's good news in any way. So, 
We talked about beer. We talked about meat. We talked yeah. about times of grace. We talked about times of the drunken cow man. Yeah. We talked about so many stuff. So, yet I'll be quiet. And the last words, the last words of Adam, of Jesse, here you are. Thank you so much for supporting this band. Uh, because, of course, we, we, we realize we can't do this. We don't have this chance without people who support metal music and our music. And we're so appreciative. Thank you. One love. Look at the dust.